Hello, thank you for joining us. We start with another important step toward making the proposed gateway tunnel under the Hudson a reality. It's the public's turn to weigh in on its potential environmental impact. David Cruz is standing by outside the hearing in Secaucus. David? Hey, Mary Alice, good evening, everyone. That's right, it's the draft environmental impact statement. And this is a very preliminary report on what key we can expect once the Gateway Project gets off the drawing board. Uh, what we heard today was an overwhelming sense that the clock is ticking. The entire process uh, is so uh, filled with concern about the condition of the existing tunnels that everything has to be moved along at uh, the fastest possible speed. And, uh, and the fact that they've gotten to this stage is a good sign. From the NJCPA, uh, and I will read uh, my only verbal contribution is the uh, Gateway Project's most important infrastructure project in the country. This is the first step. Let's get on with it. Time is always critical. It took time to do the environmental evaluation correctly and to get through the process that the feds will say, you've done your homework, you did a good job. As we're doing this, you have an aging tunnel, 100 years plus. So it isn't getting better. It isn't healing itself. So there's another time element at play here. Money is always something that expands or contracts as the job is needed. But what's really important here is that we don't waste time and let the older tunnel continue to be a patchwork, a system of damage and repair, and that there's another storm that compromises it. As I said, Mary Alice, uh, this is a very preliminary report, but the fact remains that the federal government, which is funding 50 percent of this project with New Jersey and New York splitting the rest, is not going to release any funds, make any funds available until this part of the process is complete. Just a couple of notes, uh, maybe takeaways from this. The current price tag for the project now is $12.9 billion. 11.2 of that is for the new tunnel, and the remainder is for the replacement of the existing tunnels. Uh, last year, the budget was expected to be $7.7 .7 billion. So at $5 billion a year, you can see why people, saying, uh, people are saying that time is of the essence. Uh, the new tunnel is expected to be completed in seven years. Uh, the rehabbing of the existing tunnel, four years. The entire phase one of this project is expected to be built out by 2030 if everything goes according to plan. This is the second of three meetings. The next one will be held next week in Union City. We'll send it back to you, Mary Alice. I'm David Cruz in Sea Caucus.